Hello everyone, Dr. Menasri. Today we'll focus on pre-operative examination. What they are, why we do them, and how guidelines recommend their use. Let's break it down step by step. By the end, you will understand which tests are really needed and why. Preoperative exams are not done for every patient. Think of them as targeted investigations. We only request them when they provide real clinical value depending on, depending on the surgery and patient factors. This is why knowing the patient history and the type of surgery is so important. Let's classify surgeries. High risk or major risk hemorrhagic surgeries, these are procedures where bleeding is significant or complications are more likely. Example includes orthopedic surgery, procedures like hip or knee replacement, visceral surgeries like colectomy, gastrectomy. Other examples are urological surgery such as cystectomy, prostatectomy, neurosurgical operation like intracranial tumor removal, vascular surgery also, including major aortic procedures and cardiothoracic surgeries. In contrast, minor surgeries, for instance, cataract removal, dental procedures, or minor endoscopic interventions, usually don't need extra tests, unless the patient is an anticoagulant. The key idea here is risk-based decision-making. We focus our investigations where there is real potential benefit, not routinely for everyone. Hemostasis Questionnaire One important tool in hemostop questionnaire, which helps us detect bleeding disorders before surgery, so, in asking patients, focus on unusual or prolonged bleeding, significant bruising without trauma, or heavy bleeding after dental extraction or, or surgery. For women, check for heavy menstrual bleeding or uh, PPH, postpartum hemorrhage, any history of bleeding disorder like uh, von Willebrand di uh, disease, hemophilia. So. Uh, we think of this as preoperative red flag checklist. So based on this, we can ask for lab tests and, and, and uh, investigations. Now for specific additional tests. ECG recommended for patients over 65 years old uh, with cardiac symptoms or for major surgery. So, so three situation. Echocardiography also, three situation. If there is shortness of breath, Explained, unexplained heart murmur, for example, or suspected pulmonary hypertension also. Pulmonary investigation, such as chest x-ray, ABG, lung function test, indicated if there is known or suspected lung disease. Coagulation studies like PT, APTT, platelet count, ordered for children before they start walking, around two years. Uh, in adults who cannot be questioned, or if there is suspected bleeding disorder. So these investigations are not routine, they are targeted based on the patient's risk profile. For ESC and e, uh, ESIC, cardiac markers are useful to better assess heart risk before surgery in selected patients. In the US, ASA sees it as optional. Pregnancy screening is recommended preoperatively to rule out pregnancy. Urinalysis if suspected urinary tract infection, planned invasive urologic procedures, implantation of uh, foreign material like joint prosthesis. For anticoagulated patients, they have a clear recommendation and rules, timing, interruptions before surgery and lab tests also. For insulin-dependent diabetics patients undergoing high-risk surgery, check HbA1c preoperatively to optimize blood sugar control. Thank you.